Uh, welcome back. So today I am going to be teaching you a little bit more about graffiti, um, how to make your edges more edgy, right? Um, more embellishments, uh, how to make your graffiti just all in all a little tiny bit better uh, than just the bubble letters. Now, first and foremost, does anyone have any objections to me wearing flannel even though it's not even fall? No objections? It is loud. Let's do it. All right, folks. Here we are again with our lovely little bubble letters. Um, our little hello here. So today, I kind of want to take you through um, making the letters a little bit more sharp, um, adding a little bit more flair and embellishment. Um, and that's about it. Um, I think next week uh, we'll talk about acrylics and how to do the outlines, which brushes to use, and all of that jazz. So let's take it away. So the first thing I want to do is make these edges uh, not bubbles. It's too playful, and you know, sometimes you need to make things a little edgier, you know what I mean? All right, so here, since we already have this background, or this 3D. I'm just gonna cut this thing in half. And you can do super fun things. So like, for example, like you know how you had a whole bunch up here? You can like add it back on, but make it a little sharper, you know what I mean? Like you could probably take this and make it an angle. Ba boom epic sauce so then just make all of these super sharp you do what did you want with them whatever floats your boat like these guys have got to go and the 3d sorry bud not gonna work out Let's see, what do I want to do with this? I probably just want to go down again. Like so. You make them sharp as mess, and then you have to figure out what the Hades am I going to do with... Okay, you know what, Mr. Vine? I'm trying to make it all pretty. Look, I got I got flowers and stuff for you guys. Yeah, screw, screw the flowers. Get in my way. Oh, I've got All right. So, we're just going to make that come down here, y'all. And sometimes your 3D just gets a little wonky. And you got to cover it up a little bit. But this time it didn't go wonky, so I'm proud. <laughs> Alright. Then you just keep on going until you get bored. Or you finish the painting. Ooh, let's see. Which way do I want to go here? Hmm, tricky, tricky. I think I'm going to go this way. And there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, which I think is the fun of it because it ends up, you you come with a plan and you're like, all right, this is how this is going to get executed and this is going to be awesome. And then you end up with an entirely new graffiti and you're like, well, didn't see that one coming, but whatever. I'm not really a fan of that 3D, but we'll, there you go. There you go, bud. Okay. Then, like with these things, okay, if this vine does not leave me alone, mother of God, okay, you know what? Hobby Lobby's fault. It was on sale. I had to get it. Okay, so like with this, I'd do an arrow. I think that'd be super cool. So I'm going to take it, and we're going to act natural, but... We're gonna make it an arrow. Since you can't have graffiti without arrows. Just kidding, you can. Do what you want. Bye. It's really weird drawing at this angle, you know? Oh, all right, it looks decent. How about that? Just gonna erase all of this like it never happened. 
You can put 3D on your arrow if you want. <laughs> oh, you could even do it here. Okay. All right. Boom. So we successfully transformed our H into cute little punk rock H. It grew up. All right, so with the E, I was thinking it'd be cool to just make the E part of the L. And we are gonna do this by just erasing some stuff. Linking these two guys up right at the chill. And then, forget this. Forget all this. All right. So I just linked those bad boys up, and I think I would like to. I don't know. I was thinking about another arrow. Yeah, I think I'll do another arrow. Just for the heck of it. We'll come on down like the price is right. And we're going to. And you can go off the page if you want. Whatever you want to do. And then. Now, I always like to keep consistent with my 3D. That's just me. You don't have to. Ba bam All right. Next, we have got this L. Um, we could do another arrow. I mean, I think it would be super cool to have, like, arrow here, arrow there, arrow here. I mean, that's super proportionate. Um... Fortunate person, but I'm gonna do the O first and see what happens. So I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to have a cool little thing with the O. This might turn out horrible, but we'll see. Okay. Do this. Just add a little bit of flair, you know what I mean? It might turn out just to be a train wreck. But you gotta take risks, you know what I mean? Don't take risks, you never know. You never know, something could turn out super good or it could turn out super bad and you embarrass yourself on your own YouTube channel, you know? I'm taking the risk. Oh, that didn't turn out too bad. It could be a whole lot worse. Yeah, how does it look from your angle? Oh, that looks kind of cool. I feel like I need some 3D though. Where to put my 3D? I'm gonna put little tiny 3Ds. Bam! Beast mode! All right, now I still gotta figure out the L. Man, I don't know what to do about the L. I guess I'll do an arrow. I guess I'll be proportionate for the first time. Sorry, O. Oh man, it's cutting into my O. Duck on it. Oh well. It'll be fine. Voila. Okay, you know what? You could use a little bit. A little bit of 3D. All right, and that is how I would noodle with it. Oh wait, I see a, a tragic problem. Tragic problem. Gotta be a little sharper than that. Ooh, you know what I could do? I like these things that like stick out. I see that on a lot of graffiti artists stuff. You just have like some random sticky outy things, so. so that looks about right. And then this, we're gonna do the same darn thing. Just gonna chop that off right there. And voila! No more bubble letters. Oh, deck gum it every time I look at the screen. Okay, we got one more thing. Okay. I could either one, just cut off the camera and not look at the screen and see what I missed. 
or I could look at the camera. Okay, I'm looking at the camera. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. So that's kind of how I would go from bubble letters to a little bit of a sharper look. Um, Cause I would just add a couple of things and don't be afraid to try new things like that. I've never done that before, but that looks kind of cool. You know, um, don't be afraid to screw up cause you have an eraser. You know what I mean? So just do what you want. And, um, I hope this helped somehow. And, uh, next week I think we'll go a little bit deeper into, um, letters and interweaving them and making them almost unrecognizable. Um, and yeah, I think you'll like it. Thank you.